Hello, welcome to another fresh edition of Poly Playbook. We're serving up all the hot action, cool plays, and everything in between for Cal Poly Athletics. I'm Connor McCarthy. I'm Nate Edelman. I'm Brian Chong. Poly Playbook starts now. Who do you think will win the Super Bowl this year? I think the Patriots are going to win. Hi, I'm Joe Schatz, and I'm here at Spano Stadium. I'm Megan Haley here at Staples Center. Myself will be taking on Sierra Island. Best pitcher in Big West softball history. Let's see how this goes. Tune in every week to Poly Playbook right here on Mustang News. Hello and welcome to another fresh edition of Poly Playbook. We're serving up all the hot action, cool plays, and everything in between for Cal Poly Athletics. I'm Francisco Martinez. Poly Playbook starts now. The Cal Poly men's basketball team took third place in Hawaii Saturday night. Mustang News reporter Sam Spitz has the highlights. Cal Poly took on Hawaii inside Mott Athletic Center Saturday night. The Mustangs came in having lost five games in a row while Hawaii has won five of their last eight games. Senior guard Donovan Fields led all scorers in the first half with nine points, but Cal Poly found themselves down 40-38 to 38 at halftime. However, they came out strong in the second half with an 8-0 run with Fields and Garrick sinking three-pointers to put the Mustangs ahead 46-40. to 40. The Donovan Fields show continued as he scored 19 of his game-high 28 points in the second half. Senior guard Marcellus Garrick scored 16 points, including his three-pointer with three and a half minutes left to put the Mustangs up 77 to 70. Then, with 30 seconds to go, Fields is able to get the friendly bounce to seal the game for the Mustangs. I mean, the kid was talking to me the whole night, so it was just like, he was saying I wasn't gonna be able to score on him, so I was like, all right, let's see. So I just do what I do every single day. Take my time and just take the shot. I know I can make it. That's what happened. Cal Poly's 88 to 80 win over Hawaii recorded season highs for total points, field goal percentage, three point percentage, and total three pointers. Cal Poly is now just one game behind UC Riverside for eighth place in the Big West Conference. Big win for us, especially since we're, we're chasing Riverside. We have three wins, and so now we have two, and we just need to keep racking up these wins, and hopefully this uh, gives us a lot of momentum for these last four games. We're capable of getting hot and beating anybody in this conference, and that's what we got to do. If we want to get to that last playoff spot, we've got to be able to go down on the road in L.A. against Fullerton, Long Beach, and pick up a victory down there as well. Sam Spitz, Mustang News. The Mustangs will travel to Cal State Fullerton for tip-off on Thursday and Long Beach State on Saturday. Both games will be at 7 p.m. We're going to take a look at a new Mustang game day segment. Here's a sneak peek at another edition of Around the Court. to another edition of Around the Court. I'm Sydney Finkel with Mustang News, and today I am joined by junior Job Alexander. Job, how are you doing today? I'm good, and you? Good, so you ready to do this? Yeah. Okay, let's go. So to start off, um, you guys are taking on Hawaii this weekend, who you actually just played last weekend. Mm -hmm. So what kind of adjustments are you gonna make to hopefully get a different result? Um, we just saw a few things they did offensively and defensively, saw it on film, and um, they're gonna be better this time. So you have made your way into the starting lineup recently, starting the last four games. What kind of personal improvements did you make in order to earn that position? Uh, just being smarter with the basketball, uh, staying aggressive, um, taking my shots when they come, and just playing, uh, bringing it defensively. Okay, so born and raised in Wisconsin, and then played junior college in Colorado, and now at Division I Cal Poly in California. What kind of um, adjustments have you had to go through with that, and what's the difference in playing style? Um, I say, from back home, it's a lot quicker, like quicker uh, speed of the game. Um, off the court, the weather has been much better, except for recently. <laughs> okay, so I do have to ask, why do you wear number You can watch the full segment on mustangnews.net to hear more about Job Alexander. Women's basketball hosted UC Riverside and Cal State Fullerton inside Mount Athletic Center this past weekend. The Mustangs fought hard against the Highlanders last Thursday night. The teams were evenly matched, but the Mustangs ultimately fell 75-68 to in their first double overtime game in six years. Junior Hannah Vesela grabbed a career high of 12 rebounds and a team high of 17 points, and senior Di Staley had six steals amounting to her career total of 154, which is number 13 in school history. Saturday night's game had a better outcome for the Mustangs, with a 69-58 win over Cal State Fullerton. Junior Alicia Rufas stood out, matching her career high with 17 points. Anna Vesela dropped 16 points, and Dice Daly contributed six assists, which brought her career total up to 334 and bringing her to number six in program history for assists. 
The Cal Poly baseball team play their first home series of the season, taking on the California Golden Bears. Jay Serrano has the highlights. And senior pitcher Jared Zill came into the series throwing heat, racking up strikeout after strikeout for 13 across five innings. But a few errors by the Mustangs and some power by the Golden Bears allowed Berkeley to escape with the victory 10 to two in Friday's game. And on Saturday, the Mustangs jumped out to a 4-1 lead at the bottom of the first, but Berkeley rallied back across the next eight to take the game five to four. And Sunday's game remained scoreless going into the sixth inning when first baseman Tate Samuelson takes a walk, followed by designated hitter John McKay just getting grazed by a pitch, setting it up for a single by left fielder Cole Cabrera right down the center. Tate Samuelson rounding third, going for home, and the throw is just late. And catcher Miles Emerson takes a walk of his own, and that is going to load the bases for the Mustangs. Then, shortstop Willie Cano is going to take a pitch here, and he sends it to shortstop for a fielder's choice, but the throw is offline, sailing over the first baseman's head scoring two for a 3-0 lead for the Mustangs. And in the eighth inning, the Golden Bears managed to string together a few hits for three RBIs, and at the end of the eighth, tie game, 3-3. And then in the ninth, catcher Corey Lee is going to single for the Bears, scoring two, 3-5 game, and the Bears sweep the series. Jay Serrano, Mustang News. The baseball team will play another home game on Tuesday against CSU Bakersfield. The Cal Poly softball team competed in the Mary Nutter Collegiate Classic in Cathedral City over the weekend, winning one game and losing four. In the first game, the team had to go up against Washington, who went into the tournament ranked number five in the nation. The Mustangs managed to tie up the game in the first and fifth innings, but a late push by the Huskies gave the Washington the game to four to two. Later, Cal Poly took on Texas A&M, but the Aggies put up four runs early and Cal Poly was unable to make the comeback, losing four to two for the second time that day. On Saturday, the team managed to change their fortunes with a two to one win over Colorado State, but dropped the last two games of the tournament, eight to two against San Diego State and 11 to one in five innings against number 13 Arizona State on Sunday. After finishing the first week of the 2019 season with a three and three record while playing five of its six matches against teams inside the top 20, Cal Poly Beach Volleyball team is ranked number 7th in the nation in this week's American Volleyball Coaches Association poll. To kick off the 2019 season, the Mustangs went 3 for 5 at the Hilton Tallahassee Cap State Capital Invitation. The team lost to LSU 3 to 2 on and Florida State 4 to 1, but took down South Carolina 4 to 1, Tulane 4 to 1, and Tampa 5 to 1. The Sunday sweep was carried out by senior Chrissy Jones and sophomore Macy Gordon, who heated things up with a 21-14 and a 21-15 win. Following their wins, junior Heather Pembroke and sophomore Shia Anderson won at the number five spot to give Cal Poly the 2-0 lead. Cal Poly's most impressive win of the season so far was against the Spartans 5-0. The beach volleyball team will not compete again until March 9th when they will face CSUN and CSU Bakersfield during the Paris tournament at Pismo Beach. The Cal Poly women's tennis team took on the University of Pacific in a non-conference road match. Cal Poly won a double point after wins at the number one and three spot after Pacific tied things up with a win in singles play, Suzanne Boyden gave Cal Poly the lead with a win at the number two spot. Boyd is now 4-0 in singles play this year, and senior Caroline Williams won her match at the number six spot in three sets, 1-6, 6-3, and 6-2. Junior Emily Louie Meador sealed the match with the Mustangs, winning in three sets, 4-6, 6-4, and 6-2. Cal Poly is now 3-5 overall and will travel to play at UC Riverside on Saturday to kick off Big West Conference play. Senior men's swimmer Zach Allen made history at the Mountain Pacific Sports Federation Championships. Allen broke the school record in the 50-meter freestyle, 100-meter butterfly, and the 100-meter freestyle races, but came in second place in all three events. He was also part of the 400-meter freestyle relay team that also set a new school record with their fourth place finish, his time of 46 seconds in the 100-meter freestyle and the 30-second fastest time in the NCAA this year. Overall, the men's team placed fourth overall and women's team finished in seventh place. Meanwhile, coming up for Mustang Sports, the baseball team will look to pick up a win against CSU Bakersfield in the final game of this homestand. The game will be played at Baggett Stadium and first pitch will be at 6 p.m. The men's basketball team will try to get another win as they travel to CSU Fullerton on Thursday. The game will start at 7 p.m. 
and the softball team will be on the road as it participates in the Stanford Nike Invitational in Stanford, California. The tournament will run from Friday to Sunday, and the team's first game will be against North Dakota State University at 10 a.m. You can find updates on these road games at GoPoly.com. Well, that's all the time we have for Poly Flavor Sports Action this show. You can follow us on Instagram and Snapchat, or you can log on to MustangNews.net for continuous Cal Poly sports coverage. I'm Francisco Martinez. Have a great rest of your week.